Okay, this is part of a series, and um, this one is all about tagging and uh, tagging posts. Now, now tags basically what they do is they create extra pages in the search engine, okay, in Google search and stuff like that. And you'll notice that this page has a number of tags listed there. So if I clicked on that, if I click on that tag, any article that's written that has say Google Plus will come up. So there's been four articles about Google Plus. And then there's, uh, there's, other, uh, there's other tags and people's names and stuff like that. Now how you tag a post um, is really important and the methods you use. So some things to remember, if you're tagging something, if, you, if you're putting a tag on something, it has to be relevant to the post that you're writing. So the name of that person inside the post, uh, the name of the product, the name of the service, the name of the local area should be mentioned somewhere in the post or else you'll get relegated in search because otherwise you're just adding tags for the, for the sake of, uh, of, um, of getting results in search engines and Google's smart enough to know that through, through its algorithms. So you should tag, you know, if it's a recipe, the name of the recipe, possibly some of the ingredients. Um, if it's uh, an article about somebody, the name of that person. Um, if it's a product, the name of the product. And if you're, talk, if you're writing about, as an example, real estate in your local area and there's, and there's place names within your post, then you'll tag the place names. Okay? So you've just got to be start, smart. Don't be overzealous. Don't try to go too far with it because you'll just be punished for it. Be smart and, 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 sit, with, and, and sit within the rules of... Uh, of the way the search engines work because Google Google algorithm does penalize you if you're doing the wrong thing. Okay, so how you tag a post is very simple. You can either tag it through the quick edit menu and you'll notice that every tag has a comma, so they're comma separated. Okay, and then you can also tag via this area here. Again, you comma separate and then you add the tags and then you just update the post. So you can do it from the quick edit area or from the post area. Another useful tip is to keep it consistent. None of this, you know, capital G, lowercase p, then some's got, you know, capital K, lowercase k. Keep it all consistent so it looks good because you can use the tag as a widget on, on your sidebar. And I'm going to show you how you do that now. Widget area, again, under appearance widgets. And I, I select the tag cloud widget. I drag and drop it into the primary widget area. That's the area I want the widget to be and I'll call it post tags. You can call it whatever you like, but it should be something with the word tags in it. Click on that. There are other options depending on what features you've got on your site. Okay, and now what I'll do is I'll refresh the page and it'll sit below here. And you'll see what happens here. The ones with the bigger words are the ones that have been used more within my posts, okay? You'll notice they're all nice and clean. There we go. So that's how you how you create, manage, and think about your tags for your posts.